All right, so this is going to be terrible because I don't have the highlighter that I need uh, to highlight a couple of these sections. Um, but basically what I've got here is something for cones, and those are parts of Zen, okay? So you get into uh, some of, like, I don't know, a little bit more of, like, the Eastern, uh, maybe not necessarily religions, but, like, teachings and stuff like that. Whatever. I realize this is really small. Uh, it looks kind of just like a children's book or whatever. Um, but it's got some pretty sweet stuff in here. Uh, this is for a friend of mine. I promised that I would do something for them. Uh, no name dropping. But um, this is... Uh, where do we start? Okay, so it's basically talking about, like, cones. And these things are different cases of how you can find like enlightenment or like answers and that sort of thing or whatever. Uh, but it says that there is no form of answer, verbal or nonverbal, that can possibly set aside such cases. The only possible form of closure is some form of enlightenment itself. So that's very important. Wanted to highlight that part or whatever. Um, but it kind of expresses like a little bit more and it kind of explains that. Uh, you go just a little bit further. So it says again over here, what is a cone? K-O-A-N. Not the other kind of cone, right? It says this question must surely point us beyond the known and the unknown to the unknowable. Uh, which we're definitely in that realm for sure. Um, there's some stuff here that just kind of blows you away and don't really quite understand yet. Uh, but there are some other things that I can grasp like right away and it's really nice. <clears throat> uh, there's another part on here that I really wanted to highlight. And so again, it's talking about cones that are like these cases, highly distinctive elements in history of Zen Buddhism or whatever, but it says that they are old Chinese devised problems given to the Zen student for study. They are intractable and soluble conundrums to which the disciple must find an answer. Don't really know what all that means, but it says the answer, however, is not reached by any means of logic or thought. The answer is rather an experience, a realization. That's pretty awesome because I can identify with that. Uh, sometimes there are definitely things that don't make sense at all or if you're trying to figure something out. But uh, if you come to like a realization with something... It tells you in here, like, that's how you become enlightened, right? It's because, like, you have that experience. Like, you've gained that knowledge or you've had that experience for yourself. So, like, you know that that is to be true or that that is, like, truth and stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, or that could work for you. Uh, I'm sure there's probably some more stuff on here somewhere. I know that there was another really important one right here. <laughs> So it says, cones are a living memory of a time long past, but still essential to our soul. When mind and logic did not rule people, but intuition and oneness with nature were the essential ways of expression and understanding. Cones are like resonating echoes of a part of ourselves that we need to call back to the surface in order to taste enlightenment. See, that's some of it right there. It says cones are the, are the art of turning to our own light and being illuminated by it, which definitely fucking need that right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, especially today and the other day when I was picking this up, probably need to just constantly uh, inject this into my veins. Because you can see popping out here also uh, because uh, lots of craziness going on and things that uh, don't feel very good on the inside. So we need to do more of that. <laughs> uh, I know there's some more. I'm going to find that in just a second. And we just passed 422. So <laughs> that's nice. That's a nice touch. Uh, I do everything fucking raw. I no uh, edit or nothing like that. And that should be good enough. <laughs> 